Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a side quest, Oolong's Trouble. I'm just calling it that, I have no idea what that's really called. So, it's uh, it's about Oolong thinking that there's a ghost of Yonce around, and, but it's really somebody else, okay? So, they were just going around tailing Yamcha. Okay. So anyway, let's get started. And in the next episode, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be starting the the Frieza saga. I'd like to head to Bulma's. It's kinda late right now. I'm going to be posting more often than I was before. You know, I just got really behind because of stuff going on. For those that were watching. Oh, Gohan! Back already? That's so. If you have time before Bulma finishes her spaceship, you might as well get some studying in. Uh, okay. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, Planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek. Time to figure out where was I supposed to go. <laughs> Get the start of this. Thing is, I always record with a timer on my monitor. I didn't know how to move it. In future videos, I will be uh, more accurate on this stuff. So I'll be quicker. Not stop and see the uh, map every time. Because the timer always covered the map. Like, Dead on. So, yeah.
my god, it's just majority of the time. Because I'm just trying to uh, get more stuff out for you guys, and I don't really think these are good videos. And I'm not a muscle flexing person. Where, okay, I must defeat this guy in under a minute. Okay, I must defeat this guy only using Kai and Cats or something like Nico. I just play games for fun. And I post them just to hope, hope you can make a living out of it. Even though there's like a million quadrillion people doing this. And to be frank, uh, YouTube is a dying platform. We're trying to keep alive, but they're dying. Because nobody like it like how they're running this situation. There's their self-employed, self-centered, self-delusion, self-egotistic freaks. I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst at this stuff either. So, yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel like doing that one because I felt like I was going to keep on doing this up forever. So I decided to quit this stuff just to get it done. I'll come back when I'm offline. You just have to beat them and then uh, you'll be done. Alright, well, um, we'll get back to the mission now. Sorry about that, my for. phone went off. Huh? What's up, Bulma? We're gearing up to go to Namek, right? I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there. But I'm short on parts. Oh, bummer. With Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages. You're the only one left for the job. Oh. No problem, Bulma. Leave it to me. That's the spirit. Here's what I need. Think you can handle that? Okay, well, this is where the side questing, I think, uh, comes in. I'm gonna put a time link in below where it starts. It's just at the beginning, but whatever. Yeah, at this point, okay, the timer I had was blocking the map, so I know you where we're going on the map. Which direction I was going in? Like, was I going towards it? Was I going away from it? It was pretty bad. But in future videos, when I'm on the Mechian, I'll I'll do a whole lot better. I'll be actually following the map and. Everything. I won't be needing to bring up the map like that, okay? Because <laughs> I found out how to do it, but I was on Namekian when I found out how to do it, so. It won't be until at least maybe a uh, episode after next. And 
then during the breaks, I'm gonna be using Gohan to just beat up uh, Freeze the soldiers just to level them up to make things easier. Cause I have not figured out how to get more money yet. But I figured it, I, I learned it a while ago when the game came out, but it's been such a long time, I forgot everything. Yeah, on my first playthrough, I pretty much skipped all the side questing because I just wanted to see how did they handle the main quest for the adaptation. But I realized that was a terrible idea. My favorite arc on uh, uh, Dragon Ball has to be the Cell Saga, because that was Gohan's big moment. And I got tired of Goku. In fact, nowadays I wish Vegeta had his own villain or whatever. Like, how the Goku always beats the bad guys. Never Vegeta, it's never Piccolo, it's only Goku. Like, okay. This guy gets a new power. Yay! I didn't think keeping up with the manga, so I don't know anything about that. Stuff that's been going on. I've heard about the moral arc and how it went. And here, Vegeta's gonna be getting a god destruction or whatever power, and. <laughs> And Goku masters uh, Ultra Instinct, which is good, but eh, whatever. But next game, I'm thinking of either doing, um, either Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart or Scarlet Nexus. I got a PS5 recently, so as of this video, I got like a 
less than a month ago. The PS5 is still relatively new out of the video. It only came out, let's see, it's uh... Hold on a second. It's been out half a year as of this video, so there's still some stuff that needs to be fixed. Main problem I found is, okay, why the flying heck did they disable the SSD, the solid state external socket? It doesn't make sense. Plus, there's so little space. When you get the console at base, it has 660 gig of free space only to use. Okay, that's ridiculous. They could have at least put a terabyte or something in it. But no, they had to... I get they were kind of... They focused so much on speed and the cooling process, but what's the point if you can't put anything on it? A lot of the games I've seen where well, some of the games I've seen take up like a hundred whatever gigabyte. Which, like I just said, up to 160 is quite a bit. So, it's not that good of out. Okay. Now, I do enjoy the new graphics. The ray tracing is really good, in my opinion. That was a great choice. Ray tracing is the reflection of light. Like, okay, let's say you have a chandelier or something and you're seeing a room or something. The ground will be reflecting the light of the chandelier that's right above. Or let's say you have, um, you're playing Spider-Man or something and our character and you're in a really bright room. Ray tracing is where it shows the light reflection and movement along with as the character moves or if the light itself is moving along with better shadows for if it's like in the sun okay so and uh, the fast performance good thing and I do enjoy the fact that the console's freaking silent. That's the number one thing I had annoyance with with the freaking PS4. It was dumb. Although, I will say there is one major problem I have. Okay, at times, like, I broke my PS4 up quite a few dozen times. And the way I fixed it was, the number one component that kept on breaking was the hard drive. Okay, so I had to keep on buying a new hard drive. Much cheaper than buying a whole new console. Of course, that's what they're counting on. So, what Sony did would make their own custom SSD card, solid state drive. Therefore, I can't take it out and replace it. And so, there's a problem. What?
and with the way the country is with that backstab Biden and that ridiculous idiot Kamala just spending money like everywhere they go to pay off countries thinking that money solves everything it doesn't it doesn't stop war it doesn't do anything they're, they're just whatever anyway they're the fact that they're giving away my that will have a huge impact on the economy and we can't afford to keep on getting a PS5 that's worth four or five hundred bucks every time a console breaks rather than a couple hundred like I've seen uh solid day drives cost two fifty. That is half the price of a console. The solid day drives are half the cost, so that would be much more affordable than a folded console altogether. So it doesn't make So it was a really bad idea for them to be a cementing the hard drive in because whoever component breaks. It That's not a good idea. Now PS5 uh ray tracing along with haptic feedback. Haptic feedback what? is
Haptic feedback is like, okay, let's say you have a character walking. It would feel like you there's a tap going on on the controller, like left foot, right, left tap, Over. right foot, right tap, in that order exactly when they do it. That's what haptic feedback is. Um, something of that nature, okay? And so... That's all good and such, and they're doing a good job for the three audio. Like if you're wearing a headset only or something, but whatever. Anyway, that's our video. Hope you guys like it. Catch y'all next time. We'll go to Namek in the next video. Bye. Have a great day, everybody, and have a great weekend.